Hey, what's up and welcome back. So today we're going to look at a little component showcase here. This is going to be an item aligner. So what it's going to do is it's going to take items into this dropper here. They're going to be coming in from wherever. And then it's going to eject them into this water stream, which is going to push them up against some honey blocks and then drop them out here at this corner of the stairs. And then the piston is going to shoot them along the ice here and the whole point of this is to get the items lined up so that their center is over the ice but they're hanging over the edge here so they can be picked up by hoppers that are going along here and these will be um, filters or whatever so this is for item transportation and we'll just give a quick showcase here let's grab some white concrete drop that in there make a little more all right, so you can see uh, it's ejecting them into the water, like I said, pushing them up against the edge. And because the honey block is a little bit smaller than a full block on both the side and the bottom, um, you can see them kind of fall in here. And then the corner of the slime block is able to collide with their hitbox, which you can see is the um, just wire frame here. It stopped. You can kind of see how it's barely overlapping so the slime block can hit it and launch it along here and so going along this blue ice will actually bring it out to a total distance of 35 blocks uh, which is a little bit farther than the normal um, normal ice and then packed ice which are both out to 29 and this is getting a little extra length compared to some other systems because it's spending a little bit of its time in the air, not actually in contact with the ice here. So I, I haven't double checked this, but I'm pretty sure this 35 is a little bit longer than if they had just been in contact with the ice the whole time. Just kind of the same principle, like you jumping uh, to go a little faster. That's uh same thing happens here. Anyway, so this uh, system here, is got a little bit of a flaw and you can see it right here. Uh, whenever it stops going, it uh, doesn't push this last little bit out. So, well, this is a rather simple system. Uh, I had to go a little bit uh, crazier to <laughs> finish off and just get that last little edge case there. So up here is what we got for that. And I'll just kind of run through how it works. So when you put the items in, like so, uh, it will power this comparator, which will extend the piston, creating this clock. This clock then powers this repeater every four ticks, and then this observes the repeater turning on and off, which essentially halves the cycle, so it pushes and pulls at the same uh, rate as the repeater, because it's halved and then essentially um, halved again, uh, or doubled and then halved. So same as the repeater. And then we're also taking this signal over here because this is going to be hopper speed, the rate at which this changes and gets observed. And we're just triggering this to send out the next one. Um, and that way we're not going faster than any of the hoppers on the filters can manage. All right, and then comes to the tricky part. We need to have some sort of delay at the end. So if I take these all out here, and just put one in, you can see that this is an issue. We'll just put one in, and I'll do it, right? And now this one up here has this extra delay, so watch this again, Wait, watch the delay at the end. So it goes, it's spamming, and then it pauses, and then it does that last shot at the end. And the way we're doing that is we have this extra little observer here coming off the clock, that gets made and that is going to quasi power this dropper which is then going to push some of this concrete over into the hopper and since it's operating off the clock right here it's actually going to be at double hopper speed so the dropper will be spitting items into the hopper faster than the hopper is putting them back so we kind of got a little bit of a dueling system there and then of course we've got this comparator reading out of the hopper so when the whole system stops, there will be a number of 
um, items left over in the hopper and then that's what's going to give us our delay so when those are finished draining out then this will turn off again and i've just got a, like a little snake line down here of observers leading over to the piston and then for this version you need to start with the slime block in the out position because if i have it back in this position i put one item in well, that happened to work, but there's a, a case where it could get um, stuck here if I fly inside. It could kind of be floating along the top of the water and then take a little bit of time to go underneath the stair there. And then the block will have already pushed out and then it'll just be sitting on top. Um, but as you can see, it defaults to this position when it's done running. So that shouldn't be an issue. It's just for the very first iteration. And again, this is going to have the same distance, the 35 blocks and what was it, 29, I think? 29, yep, 29, 35. All right, so just a, a curious little thing. Unfortunately, this is not something that's going to be doable on the nether, obviously, because it uses a water source block. Um, I believe Rapscallion was working on one of these when uh, he, he's kind of the one that got me into it and um, I believe he's going to be having another capable version out soon in one of his builds so keep an eye out for that. Uh, other than that I think I've covered everything so thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.